My name is Scott Redner. I just purchased this home in Historic Hopewell Borough in the state of New Jersey, and we're going to do a ground up restoration on it. Uh, traditional American four square. It has three bedrooms, one bath, and it has had one owner since 1932. And what we're going to do is put a new kitchen in, we're going to put a new bathroom in, we're going to put a half bath on the first floor, we're going to do a full restoration of the exterior, including the porch, and uh, restore it to its uh, so the way it was originally, sky blue ceilings on the porches, front and back, uh, full landscape, and um, see where we go from there. This historic home has not been maintained at all. It was, it was built in 1932. It has essentially had one coat of paint on it, and uh, the, the paint, as you can see, has pretty much just peeled off over the past uh, 80 years. And all the bones are good inside, all the trim is good. Um, all the floors are in great condition. Uh, it's essentially, it's just perfectly deteriorated from the outside so that uh, not too many people really wanted it. But we have a vision to see through that. Today is day three on the project and we've exposed some issues that we're going to have to tend to such as the porch roof. Uh, the rafter tails are all rotted. We've had a lot of moisture that the roof has absorbed over the many years that the house has been uh, unattended to. The front porch is sinking on the left hand side. The previous owner had put a jack in place just to hold it up so it didn't fall over. What we're going to do and what we've already started to do is disassemble this corner. We're going to be digging a new footing three feet deep by 12 inches round and we're going to be placing a 6x6 six six pressure treated on there. We're going to jack up the porch so that everything is level and then we're going to go ahead and uh, put all of our cedar shake back on and match the other side and then get ready to build some steps up front here. This isn't even a quarter of it. What is up here, it starts in the 40s, goes up to the mid 60s and is in chronological order. Unfortunately, I have about 2,000 more to get up and put back into the mix. But just some of these titles, I mean, there's things in there about like, you know, Queen Elizabeth's coronation, there's, you know, John Lennon covers and Paul McCartney covers, it's ridiculous. I think there's a little bit of a gold mine. second floor landing of the house. What I'm standing in front of is the original bathroom and we're going to be taking that out completely, gutting it down to the studs and putting in all new fixtures, new tile, all new plumbing uh, and a stand-up shower with a nice glass door on it. And how we're going to be doing that is we're going to be taking the space that exists in this hall closet because I believe that a bigger bathroom for a family is going to be way more functional. What we're going to do is we're going to add a wall coming straight across here after we deconstruct, not demo, but we're deconstructing all of the trim, all of the doors, all of the baseboard, all of that so that we can reuse it around the house where, where people have painted some of the other trim. The budget for the bathroom is $8,000. We're trying to stay within that. Uh, that includes plumbing, tile, all the fixtures and everything and that will certainly be a challenge to stay within that budget. <laughs> 